published 1732 EDT, 22 October 2017 Updated 1732 EDT, 22 October 2017 It is appreciated by England's supporters how Mauricio Pochettino's influence extends further than Tottenham Hotspur, but fans of non-league Woking also have cause for a sense of gratitude to the Argentine for the advice he has provided to their new manager. Anthony Limbrick is an Australian 34-year-old undertaking his first managerial role and bringing a fresh approach. Having spent five seasons as an age group coach at Southampton, as well as time at the FA, Limbrick took a plunge this summer by leaving West Ham's academy to work at the National League Coal Face. Anthony Limbrick is an Australian 34-year-old undertaking his first managerial role at Woking His side are going well in the National League, but were beaten 20 by Bromley on Saturday Limbrick learned from Mauricio Pochettino in five years as a Southampton youth coach brought with him advice provided by Pochettino, Ronald Koeman and Nigel Adkins. The results have been eye-catching. Limbrick's brief was to stabilize a team that has one of the division's smaller budgets and which last season battled relegation to finish 18th. Under Limbrick, Woking are in promotion contention, leaving former league sides Tranmere, Leighton Orient and Halifax trailing. It was a big risk, probably for the club and myself, Limbrick says. I knew if I wanted to get anywhere I had to push myself. You are a lot more secure in the academy environment, there is pressure on you to produce players, but not to win games, but I felt like I was ready, and I needed that challenge. Woking conceded two sloppy goals, both coming via set hit pieces in the space of three minutes We have a three-year plan, and we are looking for a consolidation season. So we are ahead of schedule. Limbrick came to England from Australia aged 18 to try to make it as a professional footballer, but he retired aged 20, after breaking his leg. It was a tough decision, and a lot of people were telling me to go back to Australia to do something else for my career, but I was very determined to make it as a coach, he says. At Southampton I started off with the under-14s and went right through to the 16s, 18s, and did a little bit with the 23s. I was full-time so worked through the day and helped coach Luke Shaw, James Ward pros, Callum Chambers, Harrison Reed, Jack Stevens and Josh Sims. We had a close relationship with Mauricio and Ronald. They wanted to know who the best young players were, and they would train with the first team. Mauricio taught me a lot about training methods, psychology, and how to manage players. He would always get to know his players. He would treat them differently. They all need different things, but fairly. Bromley, like Woking, have a small reputation, but big ambitions of reaching league to Limbrick has professionalized Woking, increasing training to five sessions per week and raising focus on video analysis, sports science and tailored fitness programs. The average age of the squad is 22, 23, he says. We got in a lot of young, hungry players. Our style is high tempo. On Saturday, Limbrick took his team to rivals Bromley, a club also looking to reach the football league. The main bar at Hayes Lane bustles as fans take in the end of Chelsea's win over Watford on the big screen. Out on the terraces, there are 1,577 fans with 251 in the away section. The 3G pitch means autumn showers have zero impact, but when the sun comes out Woking can see two poor goals. Limbrick was positive despite defeat, as Woking remain in the National League playoffs twice in three minutes before the break Adameki delivers decisive free kicks from the left. Jack Holland scores first when goalkeeper Nathan Baxter, on loan from Chelsea, is slow to dive. Unmarked Josh Rees nodded in the second. Less than a minute into the second half Woking are reduced to 10 men, when Kane Ferdinand is harshly given a straight red, but Limbrick's team become the better side. Woking winger Joe Ward is the best player on the pitch and twice goes close. Limbrick is compassed after full time and gives the impression this is a setback he will take in his stride. Woking are now fourth four points off the top. We are disappointed in the goals, but I thought we showed a lot of character. We have lost a couple of Saturday games before, but then one on the Tuesday. We will be looking to do that against Dover.